To Iranians, tea is beyond just a drink. It brings people together, indoors or outdoors. There are a few things that make Persian tea special and different from other teas. It's always made with black tea leaf and served in glass cups so you can see the color. You can serve it dark or light depending on how much hot water you pour into your cup. Traditionally, Persian tea is made using samovar which is a large Russian metal container for heating water that has a ring on top where you can place the teapot to brew tea. Samovar traditionally uses coal to heat, but modern samovar use electricity. Since samovar is very expensive and also takes a lot of space, it's not common to use it these days in modern households. A very simple way to brew Persian tea is to use a kettle and a teapot. China or porcelain teapots are preferred, but you can use any teapot you have. You can also use an electric kettle to heat water for your tea. Bring water to boil in a regular or electric kettle. Place two tablespoons tea leaves in the teapot and pour the hot water on the tea. Put the lid on and let the tea brew for about 5 to 10 minutes. It's common to place a kitchen towel on the teapot for better brewing. Bring some more water to boil. Now the tea is ready. Now fill one third of a glass cup with brewed tea and slowly pour hot water on it. Being from the land of cardamom, saffron and rose, it's hard for Iranians to leave their tea to be just plain. Many Iranians add different spices to the teapot before brewing to make it more flavorful. You can add two broken cardamom pots to the tea in the teapot before pouring water on it. Persian cardamom tea is very popular in Iran. Five or four saffron threads would go a long way. Simply add them to the tea in the teapot. A very common addition to Persian tea is a small cinnamon. Small cinnamon stick would give a nice flavor. Just add the stick to the tea before you start brewing it. Persian tea is traditionally served with sugar cubes. However, it's common to serve it with other sweets such as dates, raisins, or white dried mulberries.